Hi everybody, welcome to chaserainbow.co.uk. My name's Neil Cotton and this is the Clunker Project. Oh yeah. Ooh. So this is a year 2000 uh, reproduction retro looking Trek Calypso beach cruiser. Um, and I'm going to give it a new look. Got a few ideas for it. Love the retro cool look. Uh, mud guards are going to go. Panny is going. That that mud guard's going to go. Uh, got a, I've got a few parts kicking about in the shed. I've got a new crank and, and some pedals for it. New old. Uh, I'm going to keep that kickstand because they're rad and everybody. All the cool kids when I was seven had a kickstand, right? Um, yeah, I've got another stem as well for it. Uh, saddles going, obviously. I reckon, I reckon, if you bonk somebody on the head with that saddle, I reckon you could kill a man with a single blow. It's a monster. Look at the size of it, man. That's a big ass there. That's a big ass. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to strip it all down, clean up all the components, get the frame and the fork and the chain guard off to the powder coaters uh, decided i'm not going wild like i would you know a lot of my bikes are quite wild not all of them this one i'm going to go for a light gray frame black fork black chain guards uh, got a nice blue saddle and some blue gum wall tires to go on it um, and we'll see what it looks like when i've built it i reckon it's got to be a corker. So, got her all stripped down. Not going to lie, some of it was a bit of a challenge. You know, I feel, you know, as an engineer, I've had to compromise my integrity somewhat today. You know, I've done some things I'm not proud of. I'm feeling shame, you know, remorse. I might have to go and have a lie down, think about what I've done. Think about my actions. In the meantime, I'll take it to the powder coaters. Uh, get it nice light grey, black and black fork and black chain guard. Uh, lots of remedial to work to do in between. Some more challenges to come. Uh, then I'll get it built back up and start riding it. <laughs> right. Hi everybody, the frame and fork have come back from the powder coaters. I don't know what you can see from this angle. I can't see anything, so it's all a guess. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, so I think it looks quite nice. I'm looking forward to the blue tyres, the gum walls. I'm going to get it built up. I won't bore you with a build video. I'll show you a few of the components. Uh, and then when it's finished, we'll have a whiz around the garden on it. And I'll tell you all about it. Right. So that's a bit better view. There's the rad looking blue wheels. I've cleaned those wheels up. Uh, they took a bit of doing, but they look quite nice now. Uh, chain guard, black. Some pedals I've got spare kicking about in the shed. Black fork, light gray frame. And these are those bars that had the foam on that cleaned up really nice. Uh, new stem, which I've got kicking about in the shed as well. So that's not cost me anything. The pink grips I've got kicking around in the shed. I'm about to cut one of those down to suit the uh, grip shift there. The grip shift works okay. That's got a new cable. I've got new cables to go in it. I'll show you those next. So here's the other few bits really. Uh, this is just brakes. They've been cleaned up. New cables gone for blue to match my colour scheme. That's the old seat post which was really rusty. I've cleaned that up. That's a replacement crank. The old one was damaged and rusty. Uh, got that spare kicking about in the shed. So again, it's not cost me anything. Uh, although it cost me something once upon a time. There's the headset cleaned up. Essential kickstand, rad. Reflector that was on it. Uh, and the new saddle. I'm really looking forward to that. That's um, 
Um, I think it's a Mafia bike, no limits, wheelie seat, saddle or something they call it. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Are you ready for the big reveal? Woo! It's raining outside, so it's got to be a quick one. Ta-da! Whoa! What do you reckon to that? From the green machine to this beautiful, svelte-looking, stylish beach cruiser befitting a man of my high social standing. What do you reckon to this beaut? All right, it's rad, man. Right, yeah, it's gone from that hideous 30 quid green uh, recycling centre rescue to a spelt machine. Yeah, man, I like it. I like it a lot. And I reckon it's probably cost me 100 quid, thereabouts, including having it painted and the new cables and stuff like that, and the saddle and the tyres. So they all came in pretty cheap, really. Uh, yeah, all right, it's dead good, and I'm going to be cruising about, man, and popping wheelers. Now then, as you can also tell, I'm in desperate need of a Lionel, right? So, on that bombshell, I'm going to get on my pushy and go for a roggy. And for those of you that have no comprehension of my broad Derbyshire accent, that means I'm going to cycle to the hairdressers and get a trim. Toodle pip old chap. Ooh, kickstep. Rad. <laughs> bye bye. Got the tyre. Yeah? Also got a bell. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I've loved doing this project. I think it's really cool. I've got, oh, I've got some decals coming uh, that I've had made. Uh, that's it really tell me what you think like share comment subscribe and hit that notification button i've been neil cotton you've been fabulous thanks for stopping by bye bye